Greetings everybody, I'm James, your Dungeon Mancer, and welcome to Room and Bard, the game where I always forget to call myself the Dungeon Daddy, because sometimes you're just not proud of your children. Joining us today is one of my children, Bron Vito, playing... Uh, the most disappointing... Yeah, there we go. The most disappointing oldest child, Trey Shanda. Also joining us today, another one of my children, or at least he wishes... Lisa James! <laughs> I hate everything oh my about God. this. Why did that just came out of nowhere? Lisa Jar Jar James. Why is it Smeagol? <laughs> yeah. I, why the fuck? It's I, Darth Smeagol. Darth when you, Smeagol. When you elect Palpatine to be emperor so you can protect your precious. <laughs> <laughs> and finally joining us, my youngest child, the son with the steel buns, Trevor playing. I would never elect a fascist into office to protect my private property. All right. What happened on last week's episode Not of Room? One of us said we were playing. And I, sh- I said my name. <gasps> room and Shard the next season where. <laughs> no, it's not Room. It's Room and Shart. Room and Shart. The next season, where every live show is us, one of us has pooped our pants on stage, and you have to guess who. <laughs> it's always me. First person to guess correctly with a sniff test wins a Fuck dice it. bag. Oh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Send in your votes who you think shit their pants this episode. Here's a hint. It's everybody. <laughs> Everyone at this table has indulged in Taco Bell within the last hour. Oh, no, that so is true. It's a ticking oh, well, time bomb at yeah, this point. Could be any of us. It's called gambling. All right. It's an act of bravery. You are all standing in this arena surrounded by monster kind of all locales, species, domains, and planes of existence. Aboliths, aberrations, humanoids, monstrous beasts, demons, devils, infernals, angels, celestials, dark ones, undercommons, all the ones of the world and the worlds around you stare down upon you now. In front of you, on a grand pillar, stands Hewn. Prove your worth, boy, or you and all your friends die. Who's that? Yeah. No. Uh, uh, so for, first, so off, who, who are they? Who are they talking to? I mean, because Egg is the boy here. Yeah. Egg, what the fuck did you do? What did you I've do? I've never Egg? seen that person. Who are you? I think you might be mistaking us with another group of heroes. You feel the compulsion to blurt out a number. How we will do this Jesus. is you are each going to roll a D100, and that's the number your character blurts out. Now, for the audience at home, we are using an amazing book written in, uh, written by Jeff Aldrich and John Taylor, illustrated by Sarah Richard. This is called the Dungeon Meister Random Monster Generator. The way this works is every page is cut into three parts. The top part being the head, the middle part being the torso, and the bottom part being the legs. And you can roll or randomly flip it. There's hundreds of pages, and it will randomly generate basically a chimeric monster. Each page has stats and special abilities assigned to it. And also it has an image for you to look at if you want to see the disgusting thing you have created. And we're going to use this to create the two chimeric monsters you and your friends, Charles, are going to fight. These monsters are terrifying creatures from your dreams and nightmares. So we're going to start with Trey rolling for the head. Give me a D100 roll. 70. 70. Oh, that was weird. Where did that come from? Oh, I don't know. What do you say numbers for? I don't know. That is Charles. You're the torso. 67. And egg. 77. Jesus. You guys that's got a, high that's, rolls. This that's is a not good. good. Grouping. Yeah. yeah, grouping guys. Yeah. Good grouping. <laughs> All right, the first monster you are going to fight. Uh, actually, we'll do we'll do these. Um, hmm. We're gonna do these are, it's both be one, right now. I was gonna say, are they gonna be one at a time or two? You're gonna fight both of them at the same time. Right. So, uh, how we're gonna do this is, uh, Charles, you get the head. Egg, you get the torso this time, and. Trey, it's okay. you, it's get, okay. it's okay. you get the feet. The name will come to you. Yeah. We've only known each other for a couple decades. Yeah. Well, Fine. Egg or Trey is pretty new. I've only known yeah. him for a few months. That's true. That is true. All right. Uh, Charles, mm-hmm. your roll. 
Oh, is this the second roll? Fucking six. Egg. Seventy. Damn. Keeping it up there, huh? Yeah. And Trey. Forty three. He's great at keeping it up. Hell yeah. I mean he is that age. <laughs> okay. To make this easier on myself, I'm gonna go copy these pages down so I don't have to constantly flip different things here. But yeah, I would we'll also like to see the hard. some sticky notes. I would also my like friend. to see the nasty, nasty little boys who created. Take a picture of it and it'll last post longer. It <laughs> in the Discord. Got them. Fuck. And if idiots. you want to see them, you can go to the Discord too. Ha ha! It's a plug. Yay! Patreon no, plug. A plug is. I think there's a, a new of, a term for a plug, right? It's for uh, something to do with drugs. Yeah, drug dealer. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's not, not a new, new. term. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say. but yeah, I do drugs all the time. I obviously knew it wasn't a new term. <laughs> I was we're, we're, you guys. we're on the butt variety of plugs now. <laughs> I was going to say, it's definitely a butt. Well, that too. That's the only type of plugs I know. <laughs> and participate in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Woo! Got him. You're too young to understand. I'm not going to high five you. Charles, oh, the you. patron saint of pegging. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fuck. Two creatures of nightmarish proportions appear out of the air in front of you. One of them with a giant bulging cranium and a cleft lip with the skin on the bottom half of his face peeled away and rolled up to create a ridge line. A body, a, a torso that seems to have been ripped off of some kind of pirate minotaur carrying a cross bolt made out of magic and a m big axe and a leather satchel and legs that appear to have been made out of fur and air combined together. The second creature, oh, the second creature cloaked in a deep red cowl with black bleeding eyes peering out and chains hovering around its neck that seem to be lacerating it in the air around it with a torso that seems to be in the shape of almost like a, a graduated cylinder, but triangular. It's got this disgusting pointed shoulder blade pec section that narrows down onto a tiny body before exploding out into the legs of what appear to be a minotaur's foot and hoof combined with the tail of a lion that's been on fire. Damn. Got curves. The, yeah, I was going to say, the, that ratio, though, right? <laughs> Damn, she <laughs> <does that. laughs> Look at those legs, all right? So, um... Both creatures begin moving forward towards you. Uh, the crowd goes quiet before erupting into cheers at the crazy monsters. Roll me initiatives. So I'm going to no, go. My I'm, name's I'm, Egg. You should cheer for Egg. I'm going to go agriculture, after the. Agriculture. <laughs> agriculture. Grow our crops that the white men stole. I'm going to go after the uh, scary one and not the disturbing, disgusting one. What? <laughs> yes. We have them outnumbered. They have us outclassed in every single way. <laughs> There's five of us and only two of them. Oh, Where did five. you get this five? five. Oh. oh, yeah. Tubi and... Tubi and, and... Guess who can do math? <laughs> this right. guy and egg. Take your shirt off. Hell yeah, shirt's off. <laughs> That's the second episode in a row where shirts have come off. Hell yeah. Uh, I got 21. Yeah, what did I get from the other two of you? Ten. Five. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, we got an even spread, I imagine. That's right. not Trey's too bad. Trey's got a 21. Um, uh, what did you get, Egg? A 10? ten? What's your dexterity? Fourteen. You go first. All yes. Right, so then Egg, and then then it's Spurs' turn, and uh, then it is Sai's turn, and then <laughs> it's Charlotte's turn. Best for last. Sh you guys notice something very interesting happening in the crowd around you. All these monsters are armed to the teeth. There aren't supposed to be arms on teeth. And you notice above you, there are nets and hanging mechanisms and traps and other components. And there are ropes hanging down from them that look like could be pulled to activate things. However, you can't quite tell what they activate. And you would have to take a round action of being able to perceive it very well to see what each individual rope is going to activate if you pull on it. Combat begin. Hewn disappears off of the tall pillar, and this pillar descends back into the earth, leaving the dusty white dirt ground beneath your feet as these creatures begin charging forward. However, Trey, you get the jump on them. 
and you have your first action. What would you like to do? Uh, guys, should I uh be cautious or just pull a rope? I mean, I don't see what. I don't know. Pull a rope. Fuck it. I don't know. We've we've got to win somehow. All right. Uh, uh, is there a rope nearby? Uh, yes. There's one right above you. Cool. Can I jump up and grab it? Yeah. Actually, no. Not the one right above me. Um. <laughs> now I'm, I'm thinking about this. Uh, can I go forward some and pull one, and then kind of step back so in case something does fall, it's on their way charging because they're charging towards sure. us. Sure. Sure. I'm gonna do that. All right. You move forward. You see a rope. This one's dangling. It's got a red rope attached and on the bottom of the rope it's it's like splayed open with little gold filigrees wrapping around each piece of this red hemp rope do you pull it yeah guys red red gold rope i'm pulling it just remember that in case something happens so yeah i do pull it okay you pull the rope give me a uh d20 roll (laughs) cool you're a monster (laughs) mr grinch (laughs) 16 you see above you there is these like Ewers, these, these, these lures, oh, ewers, <laughs> ewers, like a, 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 or is it a dewer? It's, it's a shaped vessel. Okay. And as you pull the rope, the bottom of it opens up like a, a puckering sphincter. <laughs> I know that. Why? I know that. Yeah. <laughs> and out drops a moat of flame that as it falls towards the ground, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. How far away did you run after you pulled that rope? How far was it from where I started? Good question. Give me a dexterity check. Or, sorry, give me a dexterity save. Because as you do, a fireball is launched from above because, you and lands in the say, dirt I, in front I, of you. I was going to say, I have 30, 30 speed. So, you know, at most I'd want to run. You cast 50. fireball on the space where you are currently standing. Perfect. A uh, dex save? That'd be a 16. You're going to take half damage. Cool. All right, that fireball. <laughs> Guys, fight. Red, red rope not good. Red rope not good. Oh, fuck. All right, that's um, okay, and that's uh, that's twelve, and that's 15, 16, nineteen. So half a nineteen rounded up. So you take ten points of damage. <laughs> Your fur is singed. Not good at all, guys. Not good at all. Fuck the ropes. Oh shit. How, how close are they to? They were far enough away. Bullshit. <laughs> Fireball's only a thirty foot sphere. You moved like fifteen feet up to it, pulled and it, then and I started ran running 50, away. Yeah. Meaning, how much movement did you have left? Fifteen. Yeah, so you're in the sphere. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Insane. like these rules. <laughs> Insane. It's, All right. Wait, could I? No, because my action was pulling the rope. What did you want to do? Dash. Yep. <laughs> hey, it is your turn. You notice you are feeling intense heat as spear is moving closer to you. And this heat is like, it's, it's almost like it's oppressive in nature. It's starting to feel exhausting. I forgot that I had nimble dodge, but it Ugh. doesn't do anything. It just gives me advantage. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. I've already Seltzer? saved. Seltzer is up now. Correct? Yep, Seltzer is full health. All spells and everything he has, he has. Okay. Um, he has also grown large enough to be your companion at level three as your dragon that you yeah. get as a Drake Warden. Rad. So he's a he's not a huge boy, but he's a big boy. Yeah, he's like the um, size of like a, a dog. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of like a Great Dane sized, yeah. Yeah. because I can't mount him yet. But almost, um, yeah. You yeah. could maybe have a, a a raccoon mount him. True. Um, other question: How far away is Sai from me? Uh, they're they're about a hundred feet from you right now. Okay. Uh, is there a uh like a vessel like where the they're rope? at? Yeah. Yeah. There's there's ropes and stuff above them. Okay. Uh, like directly above. You, uh, yeah, they started right next to each other, so there is one that is directly above the two of them. Okay, I am going to think I have a longbow. Oh, come on. I want to say that's an 80-foot range for a longbow. Longbow is like... 120? It's like, no, longbow is like 360. No, with this advantage. Um, I, I was gonna say, I think oh, 150. One, fuck. Yeah, okay. I was like, it's like was, 120 it, or something. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. long okay. for. So I am going to try to shoot at the thing right above me. The that's connected to the rope. Yeah. Okay, give me a shot. All right, taking a shot. Explain it to me. What are you doing? Uh, Egg sees what Trey just did. Yep. And sees like the vessel like shooting out the fireball, okay. and he's like. All right, I don't think we can fight these things like 
I think we can fight them, but I'd like to get out of here fast. Okay. Uh, and I need to be smart like a hero would be, so I'm going to shoot that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You loose a crossbow bolt across the arena. Or, sorry, a longbow bolt across the arena. Longbow yeah. arrow. There we go. And it soars wide over the heads of these monsters, and they both look at you like... <laughs> And one of them detaches his jaw, the sigh, and like you see him just like clawing at the the like the sheared skin off of him, and he just looks angry that somebody has the audacity to fire at him. Whoops! You miss. No, I ag. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is I want to say hunter's mark is a bonus action. Might be mark. I could have looked this up during Trey's turn. That you know would be a re- most of the time. Oh, Hunter's Mark's bonus. No, yeah. it's a it's a full action to cast a spell, but then after that, it's a, only a bonus action to transfer it. Oh, shit. Should have done that what, first. I think that's what it is. Again, we can look it up, but I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, mine's just it's just being slow. So uh, for now, I'm going to end my turn, and uh, I don't have anything ranged on Seltzer, so I am going to... Oh, no, casting on. time is one bonus. Oh. It's just... Uh, I'm going to wait until the, the next. Oh, it's uh, you can use the bonus action to put it onto another creature without spending another spell slot ah. until the concentration's up because it is concentration. Okay. Cool. Okay. Done. Then that makes it Spur's turn. Spur walks forward 30 feet. You feel all three of you. Oh, no. Trey, you're 15 feet closer. Mm-hmm. Which no, means I, I went back to where I was at. Oh yeah, you did. You did. Okay. You all feel oppressive psychic energy emanating from Spur and Sai. But as Spur gets closer, you just feel like like there is some fear he is emanating, and if he gets any closer, it's going to be a problem. Then Sai's turn. Sai walks forward, and you see something you've never seen before. Sai has crossbows akimbo dual heavy crossbows and he lifts them up and aims them at Ag. You hear a thum thum. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Will a 24 and a 21 hit? Yeah, those will both hit. How much HP do you have just so I know offhand? Uh, fucking not much. 29. Uh oh. Um. So he wasn't lying when he said he was gonna kill him. Yeah, I know. This is this is punishment. 24 points of damage. Jesus Christ! As two heavy crossbow bolts slam into your torso. I need you to make me a DC 13 strength saving throw, or you will be knocked backwards and prone from the force of this hit. Okay, I'm backwards and prone then. You get thrown to the ground and move backwards 10 feet as two massive crossbow bolts, almost akin to what would be fired out of a ballista, slam into your chest, piercing through, throwing you backwards into the dirt with a puff of smoke. Ow. Charlis, it's your turn. Do these things seem to be undead? Um, Spear looks undead. Psy does not. Um, how far away is Psy? They are both, uh, they were 100 feet, they moved 30 feet, 70 feet from you. Okay, um, well, I don't want to metagame now that I know this information. Well, no, if you're fine. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast Sleep on Psy and see if I can put him out. Okay. At least for now. Uh, how many points do you have for Sleep? I'm going to cast from the second spell. I need to do uh, 6d8. All right, give me your 6d8. So we have... Uh, shit, I don't want to do math right now. Piece of shit. Six... Eight, three, seven, four, and seven. So not bad. So six, eight is 14, 17, 24, 28, 35. Psy appears entirely unaffected. Oh, great. However, as you cast sleep, five separate beings that appear to be walking next to Psy who were invisible become visible and fall to the ground asleep. Oh, wow. Oh, what the fucking fuck is going on here? Is you, you, and, and then uh, as my last action, I, I point it. Is Hewn still, like, watching, or is she gone? Hugh has disappeared. 
You okay. do not see Huey. Well, I'm going to scream off into the void. This was not part of the deal. You said two. You said two. And then Charles is going to start booking it backwards away from the two creatures. Okay. Full, uh, full 30 feet. All right. Trey, your turn. Um, all right. Uh, how far away are those two from me now? About 70 feet. 70 feet? 70 feet. How far can I throw? Something? What are you trying to throw? My alchemist. Uh, that's a, <laughs> a raccoon throwing 70 feet. Also, my strength is very bad. What is your strength? <laughs> it's a six. Holy shit. 60 feet with disadvantage, 30 with advantage, or with regular. All right. <laughs> Let's see what I can. Uh, I can't do that yet. Um, oh, shit. I forgot to add another six on there. Whoops. Oh, well. It's one. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, I didn't. I'm being a silly goof. It Don't wouldn't mind have me. helped. That I figured. Worth a try. All right. So, uh, all right. Can I, uh, can I have, can I have two be kind of make like a post for my arquebus and so I can have it braced? Oh yeah, you can use your arquebus. Yes. Okay. Because I'm, because I'm gonna uh, use my cantrip ferocious strike. Okay. And that's just make one weapon attack. Yep. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. Who are you aiming at? That is a nat twenty. All right. Who are you aiming at? Uh, Spear or Psy? Spear is emanating just offensively impending doom energy. Then I'd probably do... Psy had the... Psy has the crossbows, crossbows akimbo. Ooh. Which is more... I'm, I think I'm going to go with spe- spear. spear. Spear? Okay. Um, so that's a net 20. So that's... Uh, that'd be a crit, but also that's weapon damage plus a 1d4 additional uh, if I hit with that. So it's... Okay. 1d8 plus 1d4. So now is that the d4 is also added into the crit, or? Yeah, why because not? That's part because of the, it's spell. part of the, yeah. So that, yeah, so that's, no reason to, yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, so eight, it, it would so be 8 12. and 4, so that's 12 to start with, yeah. plus your d8, your d4, and whatever you add to it. Nine more after that, so 21. 21 damage at spear. You shoot your arquebus and a massive plume of smoke and fire erupts like the mouth of a tiny dragon. A loud, cracking, echoing shot bursts into the arena and you hear the audience go quiet for a split second before they begin cheering loudly as they see your shot burst into the chest of uh, Spear. And Spear seems to lose his ethereal form for a minute before reconstituting and you just hear... <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it was such a powerful shot that it actually pushed me backwards. I did kind of like a backwards somersault bag. For about 30 feet? <laughs> yes, about 30 feet. <laughs> yeah, about 30 feet, about 30 feet backwards. Yeah, you just yeah. rolled backwards. And then, uh, you, like, you shouldered the shit out yeah. of that. Just like, <laughs> uh, and then uh, I'm assuming Archivist is like a one shot, then you have to reload. Mm-hmm. One, it, we, we it, said it takes one turn to reload. One turn? Yeah. Or was it, was it one? A, it was one action. action. One action. So I can't use my bonus action. Okay, yeah. that's... Uh, then, yeah, I guess. Could Tubi reload? Tubi will dissolve the stuff no. as it's reloading. He doesn't dissolve. That's true. You know that. He teleports. Tubi will teleport the materials <laughs> as he's reloading. So oh, loser. God. Some nightmarish shit that he'd teleport back from here. <laughs> See, the thing is, I don't know if he can teleport from the Feywild to me. That's something I have to figure out if I can, if that could happen. Because then if I can have some type of, uh communication i can just be like guys send me something send me something quick through tubi but um get eaten by tubi, get eaten by tubi. well his arm I mean, did yeah, <laughs> yeah i mean we, we all do that we, so then we can get out of here we could Tubi's too small though you'll have to get eaten piece by piece yeah and we die that way Shit. tubi's like sure. this big in cube form he's a small he's a small creature not so like a small. cat he's like a cat yeah size. yeah um no i'm trying to figure out what he actually uh uh like what it's actually thing because i think they can only if uh well, I haven't summoned him out of his vessel, so he's still just on me. Yep. And that, that takes an action. So I'm just... Uh, however, are you sure you didn't summon him out of his vessel? Because how was he holding up your arquebus? I kind of just... Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, if you want him summoned, yeah, sure. Though I'm okay with him being summoned. He's on the field. Okay. We're going to say you started summoning, because you right. always do. Yeah, I do. Um, Otherwise, that last turn does not work. Yes. Uh, let, let me... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out. 17 more balls of fire fall from oh, the no. sky, hitting different areas of the arena around you. You see little smoke plumes and, and scorched marks. Oh my God, where is the... Does it look like all of them are just shooting out fireballs? No. Okay. These seem like they came from above you. And as you're looking around, uh, give me a quick perception check. This is just like... Or actually, just what's your passive perception? Passive perception it is... 
Oh, perfect. Yeah. Members of the mm. audience are chucking things into the arena and everything they chuck in turns into a little moat of fire. So like you see them chucking spears at you and as they do, it just burns up and then falls as a fire glob. That's not sportsmanlike. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to, is there, can I look around and look, is there anywhere I can hide? Because I can do the hide action as a bonus. Um, the there's a small crater where that fireball came down a nah, minute okay ago, with, but I'm that's okay about that. it. Okay, then I'm just going to take the dodge. Okay, what's that do? That just gives people, uh, you use a bonus action, I believe, and it can give you a disadvantage. I mean, it gives you attack or disadvantage. Okay. I think that, I'm pretty sure everybody can do the dodge. Egg, it's your turn. Egg's turn. I'm going to stand up and... Uh, let's see. I think, is there another vessel thing above spear? Yes. Okay. I'm going to take another shot at it. Okay. Um. Do you want to take a look at the vessel before you do? Yeah. Yeah, why not? This vessel is, uh, white with golden filigree on top of it. Can I do, like, an insight check on that to think if maybe that might be Give me an insight check. Oh, no, that is good. I'm just blind. (laughs) Okay, never mind. It takes a full action to dodge, so I can't. Okay. I was going to say. 17. 17. The last one was red and gold. Yes. Uh, Red for fireball. Gold unknown. This one is white and gold. So you have a feeling the gold property is still unknown, but the white is going to be something different than fire. Yeah, I'm just wondering if maybe that's healing. You can't tell. You not As we learned in early grades of school, any eye. Not enough information. <laughs> All right. I'm taking a shot at it. All right. All right. That 20. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. If you don't you get an at 20. your arrow up to it. <laughs> it strikes the vessel, cracking it open, and it tips over. And out pours what appears to be a white, silvery substance that glistens as it falls. And it lands on top of Spear. The good radiant healing energy. Son of a bitch! Begins burning. Yeah. Oh, oh, I like that part. Yeah. Continue. Flesh and material back together. (laughs) (laughs) And you hear him hissing and screaming and thrashing as he's being enveloped in this healing like energy, this magic. I'm going to let you roll. This is. I got to look up what the name is so people don't yell at me in the comments section about, oh, you said the wrong potion. I think it's a supreme potion of healing. Supreme potion. Get in the comments. Uh, No, not a supreme. Um, Greater? You know what? Let's let's do it. It's a supreme potion of healing because I'm not looking up and wasting more time. A supreme potion of healing's worth of magical healing energy falls out of the sky onto spear from this now broken and unusable vessel. It does 10d4 plus 20 points of damage to him. 10d4. All right. I have 2d4. Great. Do you I need any more? Because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's <laughs> a lot of d4 over there, Mr. Not Casting Magic Missile. I don't oh. have magic missiles. I know. Now so I why do you three. have all the dice for it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So this plus 20. 20. Jesus Christ. The premium healing is insane. I mean, at max, I think four, it's 60 eight, points of heal. Yeah. 10. Okay. That's 17, 17, 26. Hey, 30. 30 plus 20. So 50, 50 points. points. 50 Hot points, damn. points of damage. You almost got max damage there. Yes, City kill will. spear right spear out. Spear begins bubbling, screaming, and hissing. Explain his last moments to the rest of us, Egg. <laughs> I think uh, he's the the hot one, right? Yeah, he's the one who has like this crazy oppressive energy coming off. He's of the him. one with the legs for days. He has that. He okay. has that. The, the, uh, the ratio, one. the hip, hip to lay ratio. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Ag makes eye contact with him, like looks up after he's gotten off the ground and fires off this arrow. And it like shoots out. This thing drains down as uh, Spear tries to like walk towards Ag. And just he keeps trying to walk towards Ag as he's dissolving away from this this potion yeah and this is like the first thing that eggs killed i think 
And besides he's just like, the goblin. This is the first thing like <laughs> Ag has so, purposefully. And besides F.T. Barnum. No, no, no. He tried to stop that. <laughs> he killed a chimera monster drafted up by a god. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's like second kill ever. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he, he's like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's just it's walking to towards you, melting this. into the ground. It's just like. <laughs> I didn't mean to. We could have resolved this with yeah. words. Yes, you did mean to. You, you, you meant did. to. You meant every part you, you of that, buddy. We, hey. could, we could solve this with words or tea. No, no, we can't. Or hey, uh, Posmograph, do you like Posmograph? He turns to hey, Sai hey. and says, do you like Posmograph? Egg, egg, my boy. two big crossbow <laughs> bolts sticking out of him. Egg, my boy, did you happen to see what type of rope was attached to that uh, that vessel you shot? It was hanging down. Color. A gravity a, rope. A color. Color of the rope. I need you all to roll me a D100. Do we have to do another one? No. Oh, that'd be funny. He's, this is a different mechanic coming into play here. 51. 34. Right. 31. Oh, no. Charles. Not. The audience is chucking things back into the, audi- or into the arena. This time, the number they threw was 31 objects, meaning... You rolled 31 or less, you get struck by one of them. You take... Oh, I barely have that. You take five points of fire damage okay. as what was a cold, crisp, fat, fat tire, tire. <laughs> was chucked into the arena, transformed into a moat of flame, and slams firmly into your forehead. You feel the, the bottle just disintegrating into flame as it hits you. So you get just a, a, a tinge of something hard hitting you before erupting into flame. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? What yeah. the fuck is this? I thought it was supposed to be a two on three match, not it's, a this, ah, three This is on not crowd participation time. What the You're f- in Pittsburgh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That, that tracks. I knew it smelled bad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Pittsburgh where nobody wears deodorant and we all have extra armpits. Ooh, we s- burn this city down 52 times and we'll do it 52 more times. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got th- batteries for the next round. At least it's not Cleveland or Philadelphia. <laughs> Cleveland's amazing. When you walk in there, you just get the the feet cleave. Philadelphia's a little stranger. You get a free sandwich on arrival, but it's only underground. You got a delve for your Philly. Anyway, back to Pittsburgh where we have extra <laughs> armpits. What's and funny no is that well, the wild thing is is that he's not wrong about that. Apparently, the best Philly cheesesteak is in like a a subway terminal or something like that underground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where on. it belongs with the rat meat that's used to make it. Hey, don't knock on demolition, man. Rat burgers sound fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can we just gu- can I just gush about how amazing Demolition Man? It no, really, it's such a because good because it's Spears' turn and he <laughs> walks towards you dying. His last words out of his non-common speaking mouth are "Etukurakanashnke." Mommy, is it draconic? No. Okay. Can I understand it? Is it? Is it thieves' camp? <laughs> is it gnomish <laughs> or goblin? Is it dwarvish or elvish? Or sylvan? Nah, it's celestial. Aw, boo! Well, no, not celestial, sorry, infernal. Ah, yeah, that makes sense, actually. Yeah, I mean, you need Um, to get the infernal pack, so. Yeah. Then it is Sai's turn. Oh, but Gundam You ruined what I was about to do! I was going to say, he goes crossbow akimbo and yells, Opa Gundam style as he loses <laughs> two more <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't know where that came from. I heard Sai and I was just like, ugh. <laughs> it, like, escaped from my mouth. And in the crowd bursts out several attractive Korean women. <laughs> and they all dance on the sidelines. <laughs> I'd die for that. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd be okay dying for yeah, that. Sai <laughs> marches forward with his four spindly, like, fur and air wispy legs crawling towards you like a spider, just like... <laughs> and you see him crossbow akimbo, but this time his lips draw back, his cleft lips draw back, and you just hear... <laughs> you see, the female orgasm is oh my real. <laughs> <laughs> Cucumber. <laughs> Cucumber. <laughs> And he shoots mind bullets. Egg, hey, yelling cucumber won't stop him. One at each of you. It's my safe word. <laughs> he doesn't know that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Trey, will a 22 hit? What the fuck? 
Yeah. Yeah, it will. I'm sorry. I've rolled nothing less than a 17 so far Jesus until Christ. the next two dice. Uh, Charlus, will a 14 hit? Yep. Okay, well, you can't yell at me anymore because yeah, Mr. One. 14. But but that one would still hit me too. So. An egg, will a 7 hit? No. Okay. <laughs> Good, uh, because if you got it, you probably went down. Yeah, <laughs> I would. I would absolutely die. <laughs> All right, you feel this like burst of psychic energy blasting into your brain as you just scream out loud. Did he really just admit that? <laughs> Egg is just like, what's an orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> Trey, you're good. <laughs> well, it's been nice. I think you I guys. need to change the dice I'm using. It's finally time for a new set of dice. These need to be retired into the pot of killed too many players. Trey, will uh, or not will you are taking math? These numbers are too big for brain. Oh, that's really that's, not good. Yeah, reassuring. 13 points of psychic damage. That's barely more so, than the fingers. The amount have. of health I had left was 12. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> no. Okay. Um, and Charles, you get mind bulleted in the brain for 11 points of psychic Jeez. damage. So Trey, Trey goes like, what, what, what the fuck did he do? And falls. <laughs> just falls straight down. Mm, that, he bites his bottom lip. Mm, that, that, yeah. means, that means two. No, Tubi can actually do actions because you can catch up with my new thoughts on my new podcast. Uh, now here's the question: Do we have any healing potions? That Charles, I, your turn. I I see Trey fall down uh, on the ground. Tubi's freaking out now. Um, and I'm going to act quickly, and I'm going to take out. Uh, w the wand of healing that I had received from, okay. uh, and it will do uh, 2d6 plus 2 healing. And okay. It has Ooh. four charges. You whoosh your wand at him and <laughs> and it will give him 9 HP. Before you write that 9 HP down, how much attention were you paying when you drew your wand? Uh, enough, I would say. I mean, I'm Was just... it enough to make sure you drew the wand of healing and not the wand yes. of healing? Yes. Okay. You get nine <laughs> HP I know back, the differences. Trey. They look the same. I'm careful. I'm a careful boy. He, he put. He, he took if, eggs. If it wasn't egg. for the fact that before well, we started, I didn't started know they all, looked the same. This is news to me. Well, no, no, no. If if it wasn't for the fact that before we started this, you said you took everything out and set it and arranged everything, I would have made you roll to see if yeah, you drew the right and one. And I done did. He that took was... he took eggs label maker and labeled them <laughs> healing and healing. <laughs> <laughs> That one's just for Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> Tubi heal. Tubi He's an oozling. All right, you get nine HP back. You are yep. still prone on the ground, yep. however. It's, uh, uh, what? Charles, uh. anything else on your turn? God, that misogyny uh, does that really... Use, I use up a whole action. That's an action, it? yep. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm going to look at fucking weird little brain shit fuck. Oh, yeah. And, oh, uh, okay. And as I start to run away to get further away from him, I'm going to go... Just because you've never given a woman an orgasm doesn't mean that they don't exist, you little shit fuck. And I just keep running. Very winded <laughs> insult as he's running away about, well, running gives me double. So 60. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, you mean a dash? Can you, can uh, no, you do well, a dash? Yeah, I don't know, 30 feet. Is fine. I was going to say, I was gonna I was gonna say, say either you or. used an action to do that unless yeah, you, have, yeah, unless you're right. you you're right. have something that can make you yeah, do the yeah. dash. I'm just going to book it. Okay. Uh, well, actually, the brainwashing of students uh, is one of the most uh, severe problems uh, plaguing Nemoria's youth, and I'm going to have to really take care of that for you. Somebody please fucking kill him. Jesus I know Christ. we're we're dealing with demons and devils right now, but this seems pretty bad and out of pocket even for them. Yeah. <laughs> this seems rough even for hell. It's a new kind <laughs> of hell. All right, that makes it Trey's turn. Trey, right. you are conscious. Yes. Uh, it takes half movement to get up, right? Yes. Uh, how far away is uh egg from me? Uh, you'd be pretty close to him. Yeah, I wouldn't be far because I've only you're you're been within moved. fifteen feet. Okay, because the big thing was you got thrown back thirty feet at one point. Yeah, but so he, he never really moved. I I got thrown back ten feet from. Oh that yeah, so you're crossbow. like you're between five and fifteen. Feet All right, from I'm him. gonna run over to him and I'm gonna cast cure wounds on him. Oh, oh. thank yeah. you. That was gonna be my next action. Was <laughs> Finally, people doing things you. for the sake of the team, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one. <laughs> no, uh, uh, not a whole lot. That's uh. Five 
right? Because it's wow, plus. I can't believe you would do that. Yes. You yes. know, that's a lot like just welfare, just handing out it, things to another person who doesn't deserve it. He got there on his own. I can't believe you're actually actively helping him continue his own like injustices on the on the planet. Right, and, Wait your turn. And, uh, he that guy's still pretty far away, right? Uh, he's getting a lot closer now. Like, I mean, he's he's probably within like fifty feet of you. All right. Uh, so I don't. Oh, there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna send two B twenty five feet. Uh, kind of like off to the side, trying to like flank him, flank him, and make okay. sure that he doesn't really see him. Okay. Or, so he doesn't try to attack two B. Yep. But and then because that all he's gonna do, and then he's just gonna do his secrete acidic thing on him. That just free. He's just gonna put he's acid a, on him. No, no, on himself. He's just gonna start. To oh yeah, he's acid. like. Oh yeah, I'm real yeah. covered in. So sign. like, if he ever grapples somebody, which he couldn't grapple, he does just acid damage while he's grappling someone. Okay. But yeah, that'll be my turn because I don't have anything else for my bonus section that I can do. All right, then that makes it Egg's turn. Egg, it is your turn. Uh, is there a vessel right above Psy? Uh, yeah. anti nemorianism but mention ah, you know the biggest problem. I yeah, take but it what back. What color it is? <laughs> Ooh, good question. What color should it be? Is this a fucking riddle? Yes. Uh, it, white, kill him. Nope. <laughs> it is blue and silver. What the fuck do you... There no, hasn't no, been it, enough it, information. And no, there hasn't. Ask it's no. blue and silver. <laughs> and, and there shouldn't be white because he's not undead. Okay. So that healing would oh. just heal him. So blue and silver. Blue and silver. Okay. That could be something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Because red, um, red and gold is fireball. White is heal. As a bonus action, I'm going to Hunter's Mark him. And if you remember, that is... I have a little tube with a paintbrush in yep. it. And yep. I'm going to flick that paint really hard at him. What, like 50 feet away? <laughs> However far away he is from me right 50 now. 50 feet. Yeah. Because I think then I'm going to scamper feet, so. back about 20 feet and shoot an arrow at that, that blue thing. Cool. Thanks. I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> what? I was right I by him, and then he moved back. Right oh, <laughs> like, hey, all right, Pat, Trey, get Trey's back here. Trey's human shield. Trey, I mean, I would grab onto. Me. I, I mean, I would grab onto him if I could, but I don't think that the reaction I can do is grab 18. a hold of him while he's moving back. Eighteen is good enough to hit it. Dank. It is activated. It begins ringing with a shoo, 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 and you notice a scything trap dropping down slowly from it that is encompassing. The 30 square feet around him. Oh, I'm not within 30 feet, so. Okay, so it's, it's just like slowly coming down yeah. on all sides of him. So he's essentially trapped in that space. Currently. Well, he will be. It's slowly coming down. It's, he's got time to move. Yeah, it's, it's okay. 30 foot radius, you said? Yes. So it's 60 feet across. <laughs> But I'm further away. Yeah, we're, we're I? we were I'm fifty feet. You were fifty the... feet. We were fifty. Yep. Feet. Now, now you're so you're twenty feet, feet now... away from where this trap is. And now I'm forty feet away. Yeah, now I he's scampered for... another twenty. Feet. <laughs> and and Trace is like, I'm... oh my god. I'm gonna, because Seltzer came with me, and I'm gonna lean down to Seltzer and go, look for any of the vessels and tell me what they are. Seltzer? Yeah. You're just my sending brain. him up in the sky? No. Uh, technically, he can't fly mechanically for, like, Drake Warden. Okay. But if you want to learn something. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, they call me the cool kid philosopher. No one has ever said that about you. I can I'm guarantee gonna, you that. Okay, instead of telling Seltzer that, what uh, Egg's going to do is take some of the fabric from his clothes where the uh, the two long bolts yeah. like hit him. Yep. He's going to rip off some of that fabric and s- plug both of them. <laughs> You know, all right, that's it. All right, um, that makes it Sai's turn. Sai is going to continue shuffling forward with his like little spider claws, and he's going to take a book out of your page, a page out of your book. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, he takes a book out of your page. Crossbows akimbo aimed at the sky. That's my move. It's trademarked. Thunk, thunk. Well, the 17 will hit, the 7 will not. As Egg looks above him, what color pot does he see? White. White, <laughs> White and what? Gold. Shit, we, I should be, we should be ready to this down. You see a blue and black pot above you. Why ask? Why ask if it's not something I'd know? 
Sometimes I is it ask white and gold or is it blue and black? <laughs> oh, go fuck I yourself! You. God damn it! <laughs> oh, old internet bullshit! Oh God, he's leaving. <laughs> You've done it now. I don't know. Oh Lord! All right, it hits the pot above your head. If you were to explain what the opposite of the healing potion would do. What would you say it does? Well, that healing potion, what it did was heal a lot, right? Uh-huh. So I think the opposite of that would be it heals just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Out from the pot comes and pours necrotic energy. Son of a That bitch. pours down upon you. Almost like soft fog rolling out of the edge of something and going over that looks like the stuff that came out of that carriage that the long-haired fellas pulled up in on the road that one time. I think it was Cheech and Chong. What the fuck? It's fog. <laughs> this is a joke about hotbox in a car. Oh. Uh, do you um, remember what uh, color the healing potion was? It was white and white. White and gold. Was it white and gold? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. That was aggressive. I'm sorry. You said <laughs> I was wrong earlier, and I was like, I never said you were wrong. Was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Kill me. Why not? I don't have Let's enough see. D4s. It's gonna... It, I'm assuming it's uh, the same strength You, you don't need you're that not gonna, many. You're not gonna give him a dexterity save or nothing to get out of the yeah, way? Yeah, you can have a dexterity save. But I mean, yeah. if it's 10 D4s yeah. plus 20, it doesn't matter what he rolls. He's gonna be full-on dead. Yeah, but you guys can heal him. No, I mean, like, full-on dead. Like, you'll full-on kill him outright. a choice? Or a chance? How much? What's his total HP? Like 20 something. Well, well we're going to have some fun. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I'm not at 20 James, right now. What's your, de what's your dexterity save? Uh, it was a, an 11. Mm. James, you have to realize we're only level three. My max is a 22 for health. <sighs> you little bastards. Fine, I'll look up what potions. No, I mean, if you, want to, if you want to do superior, do superior. Oh, no. Just oh. so you know, the egg will just, probably fall out. That's part of the it. fun of the game. We'll, we'll figure it out. Just hit me with it. Yeah. All right, here we well, go. We'll figure it out. We'll see. We'll see if there's any way to revive him. <laughs> hey, I could. Within a minute, I can res you. You can be my next companion. You Jesus mean don't lose there. It's my necromancer ability. <laughs> you'd be friends with Tubi, but you'd be under my command, and you'd just be For a humanoid. Like, how long, though? Forever? Forever. Oh, damn. That's <laughs> fucking concerning. <laughs> Egg, the pot egg, of egg. necromatic energy begins pouring down over top of you. You feel your life force waning as the heat in your body is drawn out in an endothermic reaction. And you are becoming frigid and you begin seeing visions of a childhood you barely remember. For a moment, a split second, you think you see your father's face but it's pulled away from you as you're cry crying out to him from your crib, and he has been taken from around the neck by the hands of some foul sorceress. And then you no. hear the last words that you heard from your Drake Warden leader. You'll know when the time is right. I was going to ask if I had a reaction. Yes. Okay, can I... As 45 points of necromatic <laughs> energy Jesus. begins draining your life force. I want to pull open that pouch. You pull open the pouch. It's a rock with a smiley face <laughs> on it. <laughs> that, that would be so because, good. So how, much, that would be, how, how, much, how much How much? HP do you have right now? It's a crumpled receipt and a <laughs> cigarette butt. <laughs> I owe you. <laughs> so Trevor, what what proud of you with that <laughs> shit drawn smile? Your father's real name was nah. <laughs> what what uh what ten? Ten, okay, what's your max? Twenty nine. Yeah, so that would have folded out yeah. guy. Well, I mean it still might. Still might, yeah, but I mean still might. You only need to somehow get rid of uh six of those points that are damaging you and then you're good <laughs> okay, you you'll be down here but you won't be dead dead come on guys we got a vamp we it's gotta... just a bag of holding <laughs> <laughs> i throw all in the bag energy in <laughs> no, it. it's 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 uh he opens up and it's just it's the bag is just a mimic it's a mini mimic <laughs> it's dead <laughs> it's dead as fuck you got suffocated <laughs> it's a pet mouse <laughs> 
I, I like the smiling rock a lot better. Like a rock with just a smiley face painted on it. That would be eyes. so funny. <laughs> that shit would be so funny. Be like, what was the point of this? <laughs> oh, that would be so good. God, I kind of wish he would have gotten a pet instead of Ag. So then you'd have a pet. Trey had a pet. And Ag would have felt left out. So he absolutely would have gotten a pet rock. <laughs> <laughs> It would have been so good. You open the pouch, and inside, three inches by three inches by three inch, is a cube. The cube is iron gray. Its corners are all boxed in with gold and silver filigree. There's magical runes etched around the cube, and each of the six faces appears to have a with a different symbol on each. It radiates palpable magical this is palpable <laughs> it's palpable magical energy <laughs> i hope it's palpable healing <laughs> and i'm gonna press any of the buttons okay where's the any key <laughs> roll a d6 i would have looked as quick as if you're able to do four if that's the like the what the f are you serious did he get it <laughs> your cube of force uses four charges and casts a shield around you that allows no spell effects or magical energy to pass through the barrier. <laughs> oh my god! If you Whoa. don't believe me, four spell effects can't pass through a barrier. Oh my god. How did he manage to do that? I hate all Saturday, of you. Saturday Saturday, 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 Saturday. Immediately, you're only touched by a tinge of the necromatic energy losing... 10 health. <laughs> Three points of health. The rest of it dissipates around you, and you see this black fog-like substance just rolling off of this globe of near invulnerability around you. Uh, you now have a cube of force. Seltzer, that looks pretty bad, doesn't it? So it's just on the outside of the force? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so each face has a Use distinct marking on it that can be pressed. The cube starts with 36 charges. <laughs> Holy shit. It regains 1d20 every day at dawn. What the fuck? <laughs> There's no use in not pressing the buttons. Well, if you ever run out of charges, it explodes and disappears. Yeah. Just make sure you always have one charge. You, so you can use an action to press one of the cube's faces, expending a number of charges based on the chosen face. And does that stay active until... Uh, uh, well, here we go. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, each face has a different effect. If the cube has insufficient charges remaining, it explodes. Otherwise, a barrier of invisible force springs into existence, forming a cube 15 feet on a side. The barrier is centered on you, and it moves with you and lasts for one minute. Oh, oh dude. hell yes. Or I this up, right? until you press or use an action to press the sixth cube face, which then ends the charge, or you press another one and it changes the thing. So you okay. definitely should note down the numbers and what each of them do and how many charges they take. Yeah. Do you, I'm not going to let you know offhand what each face does. Okay. You're going to discover them through use. Then. Huh? I said not looking that no, up No, don't. Um, if your movement causes the barrier to come into contact with a solid object that can't pass through the cube, you are unable to move any closer or the object closer to you. So like... A wall. Yeah. Well, it... Like... One of the things is, like, non-living matter can't pass through the barrier. So, like, if you move up to something, you, you're stopped. Mm -hmm. um, the cube loses a charge when the barrier is targeted by spells or comes into contact with spells or magic item effects. So, disintegrate, horn of blasting, pass wall, prismatic spray, wall of fire, etc. will cause it to lose significant numbers of charges and potentially destroy it. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Congratulations. That you're... was insane. <laughs> can't believe you rolled a four. It was, I guess it was like the only one that he could probably roll that would help him. There was two on there he can roll, because one of them is nothing can pass through it. Nah. Um, but the other one is magical effects. And stuff. Okay, Mr. I'm going to avoid death and ruin James' is fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm God now. So what did I, I would like to point out to everybody listening, he literally rolled a four. He did. Yeah. I, this wasn't some dumb DM magic. I pulled the book out and showed him the table. <sighs> anyway. We scripted the shit out of this. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Our podcast is it's scripted. It's going so much better than it did in rehearsal, Ooh, guys. Charles, yeah. your turn. Um, Remember to stay with the script. You went off last time. Yeah, that's Big right. Big question. Is Charles within the 15-foot cube? Uh, yes. Is Trey in the Trey cube? Trey would be right on the edge of it because he's 15. Trey so did you get thrown away or thrown in? <clears throat> Roll me a d20. 
in. Ten and less, you're in. So if I'm eleven to twenty, you're out. If I'm out. in, then I can't cast anything out of it. Correct. Right? That, it goes both ways. Well, I'm out of the. Okay. Trey is outside of it. You are allowed to move outside of it, though. Like, you could walk 15 feet, go out, cast your thing, and then step right back in. I suppose. Because it's 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 just blocking spell effects from moving through it, not okay. creatures. Easy peasy. Okay, well, he's going to look at uh, Ag and, and uh, give him bardic inspiration All right. by Pew. saying, you're, you're doing such a good job, little buddy boy. Look at you go. Twinks on top. That's right. Twinks on top. <laughs> That's right. Keep chanting. Fucking dying. And, like uh, he's still dying. <laughs> and Charlus is going to do still a stupid thing, but be- out because of the- you gave me this stupid fucking. How big is Psy, by the way? Uh, Psy is a large sized creature. How um, large? We're going to say 12 feet tall. Okay. Jesus. You look like a stubby little shit fuck. Uh, well, his, his neck is super wide. In his legs, like his legs go out like spider legs. But okay. if he stands all the way up, it's twelve feet. Right now, he's probably like nine feet because he's like crawling on his his like angled legs. Okay, my neck is well, freakish. Um, large. It is huge. I'm like gonna... this guy does not skip neck day. You and... know those neck. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen like strongman competitions? Yeah, Their yeah. necks are grossly disgusting, huge. Yeah. So Charles is gonna look at Egg. Um, he's going to pull out his wand of counters yeah and sure. say watch this stupid shit <laughs> and i'm gonna yes. run, run out of the barrier and i'm going to point it above size head and i'm going to try to summon the heaviest granite countertop i can possibly possibly what, what are up. the arcane words that come out of your mouth to summon this counter uh bougelous counteress <laughs> <laughs> All right, you aim your wand above that, that him. That is really important. Give me a d20, and we're going to call this a ranged spell attack. Just pure d20? Well, it's a ranged spell attack, so whatever your ranged spell attack. Uh, 16. A 16 is going to absolutely hit. You, as you say, Bougelous Counterless, this beautiful <laughs> antiqued granite with with copper and and brass, like centerpieces and it's got like a, a embedded oven in it that when you press it raises and lowers the back end over top of it it's got one of those hanging racks for your pots and pans that's made out of wrought iron that attaches and it just looks like something that belongs in like a super hipster bar out on the west coast Hell yeah. appears yes. and just falls how much would you say this countertop weighs um what are the dimensions of this countertop? Uh, I mean, it's like a bar, so we're going to go with maybe like six feet long by like three and a half feet wide by however tall a counter is, two, three feet tall. Okay. So, I mean, it's big. So, like close to maybe the size of the table we're on, just minus uh, a couple feet on, maybe yeah. minus a foot on both sides. Yeah, exactly. Um, is it just a granite countertop? Well, it's, or, it's yeah, a granite I don't, I don't know how heavy granite countertops uh, What's a square are? foot of granite weigh? That's what we need. Uh, well, a uh, square foot of granite. Yep, a square. What is the weight of a square foot of granite? Because I just said pounds. <laughs> it's less than that. It's, I'm gonna. My guess is a, a cube, or sorry, a cubic foot of granite is what we need. Um, my guess is gonna be based on my granite fa- like maybe a hundred pounds, eighty pounds. Uh, one with a 80 cubic pounds. foot a, of is granite, typically one hundred sixty-five to one hundred seventy-five pounds. Oh shit! Okay, I'm a strong boy. All right, so we're going to say 160 pounds. Oh, well, no, more than that. Cubic your... foot? Cubic foot. Yeah. Yeah, so we're saying 160 is our estimate we're starting with. Yes. Well, what and type of granite? Is it gray granite? Light I granite or black granite? I don't care. I have different weights for them. So yeah. So then I said it was what? Six by yes. three by three? Mm-hmm. So six and three is 18 by three is a number that I'm doing definitely in my head and not long adding right now. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. Six and two, that's 56. Thank you. Close. Uh, so 56 times 160. We're going to do this one in my head too. I'm a big smart boy. What I have to do that's is a I have heavy to fucking 160 uh, times 50, 56. So just shy of 9,000 pounds. So we're going to say 9,000 pounds. <laughs> so Jesus just casually, Christ. just a couple tons. Yeah. That, that's, that's heavier than my true rig for work. 
My curling so only about six. That's, that, that's a, the max weight I can have on my forklift at work. <laughs> uh, with the forklift that's weight a, included. That's, that's the size of my truck for work because that's just like one of them's about 9,000, one's about 10. I'm trying to think. What did I ship? That was. I'm not giving any information. So this counter, <laughs> this countertop <laughs> weighs as much as a car. More than a More car. More than a car, but like well a Well over a car. A my car truck. weighs like two and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. So you drop three cars on top of this guy. Sick. Yes. <laughs> Your wand immediately poofs out of existence. Perfect. As you have used its greatest and most fanciful full charge. And a 9,000 pound granite and copper and brass hipster bar counter from the West Coast. Probably in some silly city like... Portland drops on top of this disgusting Sai Shapiro, <laughs> Sai Shiro, Ben Sai Shiro. Can I say what's on that countertop engraved on it? Yes. Uh, w dot P A dot P. Don't know what that means. And then boom, he's squished gone. And you just hear a, ah, I always knew I would be crushed under the weight of. Yeah, it's wet ass porcelain. What? Oh, <laughs> but as porcelain, I always knew I'd be crushed under the liberal ideologies. And he dies. The crowd goes silent and immediately erupt in anger. Uh, None of them thought you would win. Uh, th this, this means we win, right? Egg coughs up blood and gives you the thumbs up and then points to the cloth that he's stuck in his ears. Trey looks at you, also coughs up blood, <laughs> gives you a thumbs I've, up. The roaring noise of the angry crowd, which is now pouring out of the stands over the barriers and rushing you in the field, fades as you reappear in your in room. And sitting on your bed, holding hands, are Hume and Troll. Hi. I guess uh, we have a deal to make. We do? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's we're where we'll end this week's episode. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Can All I right, watch? everybody, thank you so much <laughs> for Jesus. this episode, listening to it, being super cool, supporting us, doing all the cool things. If you want to find out more ways to help us make this podcast better, nastier, filthier. Why would you want to do that? that? Head on over to patreon.com forward slash room and bard or wiki feet. Or the first one I said, definitely the one that actually gives us money. <laughs> but we have paid and free tiers available where you can get behind the scenes content and have access to the Morning After Podcast, which is the podcast after the podcast about the podcast you just heard, where we're going to talk more about the podcast we just recorded. If we feel like it. Uh, but as always, I've been your Dungeon Mancer, lover of lesbian gods, James. I'm Vito, who's disappointed in James. Jameis, who's just here. I like granite countertops, and I'm Trevor. Don't forget to use your new granite countertop to serve up a fresh, ice-cold, <laughs> crisp, <laughs> fat tire from <laughs> New Belgium <laughs> Brewing. I can't There's wait. two things that <laughs> New Belgium Brewing promotes, and that's a crisp beer and crushing Ben Shapiro with <laughs> 9,000 pounds of granite. Sir, that's Fuck Ben, you, Sh ben, ben Shapiro. Sai Shapiro. Hey everybody, it's James, your Dungeon Mancer. I'm here live at the Room and Bard Tavern, and I just noticed on the quest board there is a new message. From Andrew, it reads, Wake up, sheeple! We're all pawns, controlled by something greater. Memes. The DNA of the soul. All right. If you'd like to know how to write your own message for the Room and Bard Tavern quest board, head on over to patreon.com forward slash Room and Bard. In a town long ago, where the misfits would roam, there stood a tavern, a place to call home. The room and bar where the stories would flow Respite for the weary and rest for the dreary The place to be and the place to see Like a flame that never falters The spirits never die As the nerd dwells and travelers share their battle cries They raise their glasses high To the victories and defeats In the room and bar tavern Where the heart of storytelling beats Oh, the room Music flow.
Humble little tavern's where 